This year, TVET received 2,000 applications and has awarded close to 8,000 scholarships. Since the introduction of the program, Governor Pakop is satisfied with the output of the program. He has already seen a number of positive outcomes. The main important thing is that we give opportunity to um, these young men and women who have potential, but we just push them out. Um, as government, as uh, leaders of our country, uh, we can't afford to see young men and women wasting their life. Member for Mosby South and Minister for Sports and National Events, Justin Ketchenko, has backed the program. Minister Ketchenko said TVET is assisting youth to build their hopes and to be better citizens of this country. As, uh, as uh, Governor has already initiated this uh, five years ago, uh, why change something when it's working well? Back it up, join it and make it bigger and better. TVET coordinator Rose Agua, a teacher by profession, appreciated the initiative and will assist in making sure youths are educated. Um, in order to change the way we think about the progress of societies, we need to put people at the center of development, people. We said that people are the wealth of the nation, so we need to put people at the center. We need to enable them to be active participants in change. This can all be done through education because I think education is the social vaccine to social issues. The Technical Vocational Education Training is now accepting applications for those seeking scholarships for the 2013 academic year. The scholarships are strictly for the residents living in Port Mosby. Michelle Jarawai, National MTV News.